Then we're back after a rather abrupt uh, end. Hello, Lord, ladies, lasses, warblers. Welcome to the Old and Old and Once again, Russ and Jack here. We just lost our emo friend to the darkness. He believes in a thing called love. I don't know just what else to tell you. Just to the rhythm of his heart. There's a chance we can make it now. We'll be rocking till the sun goes down. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> you started that. Yeah, I know. I started it. I was hoping you'd go with it. I did. Kyrie. It happened. You got your wish. Sora. Sora. I'm on a treadmill. Oi. Nope. I'm not wonder. <laughs> I'll tell you, man, it's them goddamn old men! They've come for me! <laughs> uh, let's do the same fight twice. Is not even good tech. I forgot this oh, word. Tech. Oh, not so good tech. Look at his eyes, man. Thighs of the gods, strike my foot down. There can't be that much left after the. After oh, the smack you, you've done pretty well so far. Actually, aim for the the ones I can hit, please. Shame life bars aren't a thing until later. Yeah, like I don't think much later. I should really. But it's cinematic when it doesn't have a life bar. Because you feel like your struggle isn't working, working, but it's the only thing you can do. <laughs> Gameplay. Except that's not even remotely true. Game devs. He's like, I'm out. Peace, bitch. <laughs> you really hurt my fingers. <laughs> I'm going to go get abandoned. Traverse Town, otherwise known as Place Place. <laughs> Movement Place. <laughs> Walk through here. <laughs> Literally, though. Yeah. His name's not fucking Leon! Uh, it's not! Oh, fucking roasted him. <laughs> you big palooka. Ugh, dog spit. Dog breath. Ugh, Riku. <laughs> Not now. I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> 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 Many Casey broken ribs. ribs. <laughs> Just starts choking on his own blood. <laughs> two collapsed lungs in him. Where am I? Nowhere. You are literally nowhere, kid. Do you know where we are? You are. Place, place. <laughs> hey. Peace. I've done my job. Time to vanish. Uh, game. game. Gameplay. Well, almost. Cut scene <laughs> immediately. Almost. Totally weird. I'm in another world. This is totally weird. Sweet. We don't actually have to do that much here. Welcome we? to a place that really doesn't matter, Koopo. Welcome to a place that only exists because we want to put the world in. I actually like Traverse Town. I do like it. Yeah. 
Hey, like said. Don't call me Gramps, the name's Sip. Anyway, not sure what you're talking about. This sure ain't your island. Yeah, I don't have to, sorry. I can't I can't do it, everyone. <laughs> no, I can't do the, well, the terrible Well, Good luck. Lives. You're gonna run into a look out for you. <laughs> Can we get this yet? Yeah. Well you just did it. No, I mean like a lot of them are locked. Mithril Shad. There's nothing up there, is there? And we can't do the limits of later. But we can save, which we really should have done before the boss fight. Yeah, that's true. You kind of boss that fight, so... It's <laughs> not a hard boss fight. fight. Woohoo. Right, so... Yeah, but you can get annoying, like... On the, on, be, the, yeah. on the bullets. Then can be a bit annoying if teching sometimes. And the trick is just to stand behind game. him and it don't yeah. hit you. Yeah. <clears throat> Rip this guy. face. Rip this guy. Look, Sorry, a thing just, that never happens again. Up, he shows up later, just fine. Oh, I've just been to this place a lot recently in my game. Oh, from these yeah. sniper worlds. So, with the inclusion of Pixar worlds in... I want to see a Coco world. Hmm? Give me a Coco world. <laughs> I'm all about give me an Incredibles world. That's what I want more than anything else. Incredibles world is top of my list. Sure, that makes sense. Especially considering we're getting a new movie this year. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Um, wouldn't mind... Well, we're already, getting, we're, already, okay, we already so we're already getting Big Hero 6, yeah. which is great. Because, spot on. That's yeah. going to be a really good world. Um... We're getting Toy Story. Yeah. Olympus that looks is obviously so good. confirmed because of course. Yeah. I mean, Olympus is going to be like the first world you go to. One of, yeah. Well, I think it's pretty much implied with the end of 2.8's cutscene. Yeah. When they're flying off to Olympus. Uh, I don't actually remember how this works, so I'm just going to wander around and... Is it first, second, third, second, first, and it's... Uh, and that kind of does it. So. Because I don't, I just make it up as I go here every time, and eventually it puts me in the fight I need to be in. I think you're right, but yeah, um, yeah, pretty much you know that Frozen's gonna be unfortunately, yeah, that's the world. The I best we can that hope, film the best kind we of... can hope for is that being the Atlantis of the game. Yeah, it you know it probably will be because it's a musical. Yeah. Well, they're all musical. Well, yeah, but that one more. Them, I guess, but... <laughs> that one more so than anything else they've done recently. Although, although, they're confirmed Tangled, and you've got to wonder, are they going to bother putting Frozen in and Tangled? See? I know nothing about Tangled, so it's fine. Um, I've got to imagine I know a one is going to be in there. I think Tangled would make a better world, I will say that. Yeah. But I don't know nothing about I Tangled. I feel like it might get a bit lost in... Well, there Tangled's is... already been confirmed. Has it? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it already got confirmed, dude. Well, that's fine, then. I'm just trying to think, like... More oh. it's going to be one. Definitely. Yeah. Because they they've got it. They're going to give you, like, Maui as your partner. Yeah. Oh, God, The Rock might be in a fucking Kingdom Hearts game. <laughs> Yeah, probably. He'll probably he'll probably do it. Yeah, he will probably he probably will say yes. That's gonna be and... great. I'm glad this doesn't because these guys are pretty good for getting most of their. Uh, yeah, I think voice the one back. they didn't get the one entire of the cast back was Williams. Pirates of the Caribbean. Well, Robin Williams isn't in this. Yeah, it's the voice actor for Homer Simpson who does the genie in this. Yeah, um, Dan Castellaneta. Yeah, I think I pronounced that right. Mm -hmm. Most of the characters are right. Yeah. I know Ariel's right, because they it's like get... the only thing she's ever done. Yeah. She's done Ariel in the original Little Mermaids, and then she did this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Basically it. Yeah. One trip. And they didn't get anyone for Pirates of the Caribbean because... because... No. Money. Yeah, those were A-listers. But it's the same reason they didn't get Robin Williams. Yeah. Money. 
Right, I'm just gonna hope that going back to second and first world does it. The reason they got Donald and Goofy, uh, Mickey's voice actors, was well, because Well, they got Mickey because he's in for like four seconds. Yeah. He has but, like three um, lines. But it's also because Disney paid for them ones. Yeah. Yeah, that helps having Disney money for it. Oh, I'm not interested. I just want progress at this point. Um, what other worlds would be good? Um, I don't actually know what else I would want from Disney. See, I'd like Brave, but... I feel like that would get lost in with Tangled a lot. Yeah, and the problem is as well, Brave is one of the least, like... If you ask someone to recall all Disney films, it's probably one of the most forgettable Disney films. I think the, it has the benefit of you recency. you probably really like it. I've not seen it. Have you not? No. Alright, I've, I've enjoyed it. But I'll probably also like it. But, um, I never hear anyone go on about it. It went under the radar. Yeah. As much as a Disney film can. Yeah. Um, I believe Monsters Inc. got confirmed. Did it? I believe somewhere that got confirmed. It might have actually been a leak. So... But you've may... got to imagine, if they're putting Toy Story in... Yeah. Monsters Inc's gonna end up it. You'd think. I'm just gonna turn this off for a bit because it's letting years. Yeah. I can do without audio for a bit. I've heard all this for a long time. No, I'm not actually playing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh. I could do without going back to Agrabah. Yeah, I think we're kind of done with we're Agrabah. We're done with that now. Oh, here comes yeah. Leon. <laughs> here comes Not Squall. Not Squall, guys. But why? Why would it choose a kid like you? Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Gunblade. Never mind. Now, let's see that. Rip put a revolver on my great sword. That's how that works. All right. Then have it your way. Yeah. I do like Squall though. Yeah. Even if he's a, somehow as emo as, as not, can be. Really, because the problem with that is a lot of people, it's the same problem with uh, Cloud, where later on he sort of became more of an emo character because people kept casting him in that light. Yeah. Whereas if you... Oh, Christ. And here's, here's the testament to, like, enjoying a game, but realising it for, for its flaws. Well, rip. Uh, remember when uh, I actually did that? Yeah. But it, yeah, it is a testament to realising the game's flaws. Um, hey, you found it. Nice going, Final Fantasy yeah. VII. Well, no, it's not even a flaw, it's actually just part of the character development. Oh, fuck off, Yuffie. Oh, um, still. Cloud's an asshole. Yeah, he is. That's kind of the point. Cloud is an outright asshole in FF7. But at least that it's has Nick. story. Reason. That, there's at least yeah. something to that. Yeah. More so than he's just mopey because he's, yeah. just, he's more of an abrasive dickhead. But it works. Yeah. And later on, when he starts to come to realise everything, then he sort of calms down a bit. Starts channeling all the fucking bullshittery towards Sephiroth. Yeah. Where am I? You're in Waterwood. There's a Disney thing. <laughs> <laughs> what world world? Again, Beauty and the Beast's castle doesn't need to be a thing again. Because we got it in some form in Hollow Bastion, because it's sort of like yeah. similar-ish, the interior. Uh, and then they sort of like mapped it almost in a similar way for the actual Beauty and the Beast castle. Yeah. Um... So yeah, we don't we don't. Need yeah, I think that. that's kind of been played out. I wouldn't mind Beast being in the game. I do oh, yeah. want Beast to be in one of the worlds, maybe one of the more generic dark mm. worlds that they, like their original ones. Excuse me, did the king send you? You're dead. <laughs> okay, so is what's the over under on FF7 remake? 
changing who dies at that moment <clears throat> to try and catch everyone off guard. Okay? I genuinely think it's going to be someone else. I, I don't think it'll be Tifa. I wonder though. I kind of think it'll be someone else. Because I know the that was mine. I'm so glad that you're okay, Kyrie. Kyrie? I know as in gameplay-wise, it's a I full rework. But I think story-wise, weren't they going for a straight remake? They're going for a straight remake. I so they say. So they say, yeah. I genuinely think someone else will die in that moment. That's lame. I don't know, because like. The key. I think, think they is, who will else could you change. throw under that bus that would have the same impact? Because the, the only other person, if you change that person, all you are doing is that. Like, the only person that would make as much impact would be Tifa. Yeah. Still hard to believe that you. Of all but are the chosen you see what I mean? Like, if they change it, it is just for the shock of it being someone else. It wouldn't have the same story effect. Well. Yeah, true. And I don't think I could buy that the characters would have the same emotional impact. Mm. To, like the same response to that. Okay. Yeah, I think that's kind but of the issue. Also, at the same time, it's like I feel like you know they're just itching to do it at the same time. Just yeah, to get people. Until now, when the heartless. Or the alternative, being she just outright gets saved. The heartless, the ones who attacked you. You remember? Oh, don't get me wrong. I don't want this to happen. No, I don't. I'm saying, what are the odds? Uh, I don't know. I feel like it's going to be different in some way. Or they'll pull a red herring where she's meant to die, doesn't, and then... And then dies a bit later, yeah. I feel like that's the most likely scenario. Well, but the best. Because you, then you're thinking, then you're like... We, she's alive. Brilliant. Yes. And then later on, it's like... God damn it. Yeah. Or even just like in the God same cutscene, like, he misses the downward, yeah. and then just cuts her anyway. Make it really brutal. Like he's <laughs> like decapitated. The <laughs> Straight enough. <laughs> Vertically. Yeah. To be honest, it never had mo it, it was shocking, but it never had much of an impact on me as a kid. Because to be honest, I didn't like her as a character. <laughs> He's just flower child. <laughs> yeah, okay. The heartless have great I prefer it to Yuffie, though. If I could shove anyone in the way of that situation, it'd be Yuffie. Yeah. No matter what. Fog off, ninja guy. Absolutely. You piece of shit. The Keyblade chooses its master. Or I'd shove Vincent in the way, because he'd probably survive. So, Because <laughs> Vincent's great. Because <laughs> Vincent. Because Vincent's great. <laughs> Do you want to see CX? What? Dirge of Cerberus. What happened to my home? Hmm. My Which I was tempted by. Riku! It's not a fantastic game, but... I really don't know. Is it though? Yeah. Alright, that's gonna do it for this episode, because yep. another long cutscene that we just completely ignored. Yeah. <laughs> Except when Yuffie was on screen, because she makes me so mad! <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Yeah. Goodbye, see you next time.